Hello all. Welcome to the YouTube viewers. I am Shrikant Shirkur. Uh, today uh, we are studying a behavioral modeling and we will be focusing today on the conditional statements. There are three in kinds. If statement, if else statement and nested if else statement. We will go in detail. So here. The conditional statements are used for making decisions based upon certain conditions. These conditional statements are similar to the one which are existing in C programming. If you have taken a course of C program, so this is not at all a difficult, almost similar to that. So these conditions are used to decide whether or not the statement should be executed. Keywords if and else are used for conditional statements and three types as I have uh, said it. I will be calling type one for if statement type 2 if else and type 3 is nested if else so here it will be evaluating the expression if it evaluates to be true the following condition the following statement will be executed or else it will go to the next execution pointer here it will just check the expression if evaluates to be true then true statement will be ex executed if it is false false statement will be executed and nested here the first condition will be checked if it is true true statement one will be executed if it is false then it will go to the next part that is else and again i am checking one more condition so that's why we call it as nested condition this is number of condition number two if this is true true statement two will be executed else again i am checking the third condition if it is true true statement three will be executed else else means it is not satisfied the condition here here as well as here if that is happening then else statement default statement will be executed and one more thing to be remembered is a block must be grouped as in case of sequential blocks the same thing uh, to be followed here also so typically we block we just uh, group a block using a begin and end and a single statement need not, need not need not be grouped this is a this is a same as in the earlier cases always in initial cases we shall see some examples so type one example we have only if statement if the condition we are checking is lock wherein there is a negation symbol here lock if it is one negated one is zero so it is a false condition if it is false this does not execute if lock is zero not of zero is one if that is that is a true case then only data will be assigned to buffer this is how it works second example if enable is one the statement is going to execute if enable is zero these statements will not execute so if considering enable is equal to one out one and out two will be assigned with the expressions that are present on the right side type two type two is a if else statement so here i have a condition number less than maximum there are there are two identifiers one is number and one is maximum if number is less than maximum then only these statements will be executed which are grouped under begin and end because we have two statements if it is single statement then no need to use begin and end we have two statements here hence we need to use it if number is less than max then these statement will execute data one will be getting data number will be incremented if this is false then else statement will be executed that is dollar symbol display means it's a system task for displaying the contents of the text onto the console that is q q is full try again this is a type 2 then type 3 example is if alu control is equal to 0 then this true statement number 1 should be executed that is x plus z addition should happen else if if alu under, uh, underscore control is 1, then subtraction should happen. If alu under, else if alu underscore control is 2, then multiplication should happen. Else, if these three things are not the values of alu under, underscore control, then else statement will be executed. That is, invalid alu control signal will be displayed in the console. So, this is type 3. That is, nested if else. Then, we'll look into some uh, examples. Uh, we have a very low code for 4 is to 1 mux. I am using type 1 and type 2 and type 3. So type 2 and type 3 I merge it because there is no much difference because sometimes we'll be using one time if else or in some other times we um, are like want to require use uh, more than uh, one if else statements that becomes a nested if else statement. So I'm merging it. So before uh, we uh, see like how, how to write a code and uh, to write a code I'll just uh, Take a paperwork for better understanding.
Now uh, we will look into the Verilog code of 4 is to 1 max using conditional statement that is uh, uh, using if else statement. First, here in this code, we'll be writing module module give any identifier of your wish max 4 underscore 1 uh, let me define the outputs and inputs output be y select line be yes and input be i so my output should be also declared as reg because i'll be using this output y inside always block then input 1 down to 0 uh, not uh, this is about uh, select line two select lines are needed and one more input which is the inputs of the mux we have four inputs so three down to zero i am defining a vector called i so all the input and port uh, port declarations we have uh, done now we are starting up with the always block so remember one thing you can use the conditional statement that is if else only in inside the sequential block especially always block always at star whatever you write inside the bracket it is called sensitivity list whenever you write star mark the meaning is any event occurring on the inputs that has been mentioned in the module if any changes happens in s and i then this always statement will be executed that's the meaning of sensitivity list i begin then I start with the if else statement. If 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 the least significant bit is zero, logical and I am checking one more condition. If most significant bit is also zero, then what has to happen? So I am making that is y is equal to y is equal to uh, i of 0. I am allocating y is equal to i of 0. Else if, else if it, it is not the case, what I have to do? Else if, again, s of 0, first bit should be 0, ampersand, is significant. Next is most significant bit, if it is 1, then what should happen? y should be allotted with second input else if there is one more way of writing the condition here as s is declared as 2 bit 1 i just write it as yes if it is equal to f s if it is equal to 2 bits 1 0 it's like s not s of 0 is 1 s of 1 is 0 that's the meaning you can even use this then your y should be allotted with i of 2 else so here i just write else if all these three cases have not been occurred then what should happen y should be by default allotted with i of 3 you can you can change uh, in your own way so this is how i have written the code yeah, <clears throat> we looked into how to write a code, Verilog code for 4 is to 1 max using conditional statement just now. Uh, we have, uh, we had just used uh, 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 the type 2 and 3 style of uh, conditional statements to write. Uh, one uh, small change uh, uh, while writing, I just uh, mentioned that S of 0 is uh, 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 least significant bit and when i was writing the third case i just wrote it as yes is equal to two bits of one one zero one zero which which uh, resembles the second statement let us let us avoid the confusion and we will take uh, the in the same way how the the first and second statements were written let me just uh why just go through it quickly uh, four is one marks y i s and i same as uh, we just uh, done it in a paperwork everything is same here so here i'm using type one when s uh, least significant bit is zero most significant bit, a bit is 0 i naught will be assigned to y and similarly 0 1 y i 1 will be assigned to y 1 0 i 2 and 1 1 y 3 will be assigned there is no else statement here so here in type 2 and type 3 we have else statements after each of the condition is checked both things are work uh, will work fine but i recommend you to use type 2 or type 3 
of the uh, conditional statements so here uh, let us follow the same way of writing just to avoid confusion you, i just uh, wanted uh, to make you aware that there are a number of ways that you can write a code uh, that with that intention i just deviated but let us follow the uh, the same thing what has been followed here so i will just i'll just take you to the xilinx environment i'll execute this for stone marks using conditional statement and we'll come back to the uh, further studies so I'll go to the Xilinx environment. So in Xilinx environment, we have already um, I have already copied the code just to save the time. So here, yeah, example one, I just name it as example one, treat it as uh, max four is to one, wherein your Y is also declared as register because uh, I'm using a Y that is output inside the always block. Whenever you are using any output inside the always block, you need to define it as register also so two bits of select line and uh, four bits of input everything is ready now so the same code then i just and you can see that all the keywords will be highlighted with blue color in in xilinx environment so that that definitely uh, help us to differentiate between keywords and identifiers so i'll just save it and synthesize it so once it is synthesized we'll just go for the simulation whether it works fine according to our functionality of four stone bucks or not so <clears throat> here uh, uh, again um, you can you can just uh, ignore the warning certain warnings are ignorable it will just uh, alert you in, it is asking that incomplete if statement because you know when when we say that when s is equal to 0 s1 is equal to 0 i am just allotting y is equal to i of 0 and what what has to be done with the other uh, inputs that i have not mentioned but it's okay certain things can be ignored some warnings are ignorable we'll directly go for simulation So I have simulated the code. Now uh, we'll go for the waveform, and I'll just uh, I have not written test bench. I'll just for the value force the values here. So select line. I select I force a constant zero zero, and for the input, in order to just uh, select the proper uh, input channel, I just give make the select line zero zero zero. I mean um, the least significant bit as one. Let us check what happens. I'll just run it. And you can check here. Zoom to fit, minimize. So 0, 0, your least significant bit is 1, and your y is being assigned with least significant bit 1. So now I'll change uh, the select line to uh, 1, 1. So let us see what happens. 1, 1. Now 1, 1 selects, assigns the y with most significant bit, which is 0 now. I'll just execute. So you can check. The most significant bit is 0 and y is being assigned with 0. Now again, I force the input with force constant. I make most significant bit also 1. I'll give any name. Now, so I'm making most significant bit also 1. So let us see what happens. So most significant bit is 1. Hence, that is being assigned to y. So this is a, a functionality of the 4 h max. Our code is working fine. So with this, uh, we are... Uh, done with uh, 4 is to 1 mux design using uh, conditional statements. So um, we will just uh, have some more programs in the next video. And to keep updated, uh, kindly subscribe uh, my YouTube channel. Thank you.